How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC. And tonight I have a fun video. It's going to be really quick, but it's just an update on one of the test knives, the Old Timer Bruin. But we're also going to do the first real sip and flip of the year. We haven't done that yet. Uh, we did like a winter one, but we haven't really done a spring one. So I think we should do that. So our sip is a smutty nose what does this even say easy kind i don't know i got it from work but here it is um a crushable ipa they're actually decently good i'm not an ipa girl but this one isn't too bad so cheers yeah that's good and then obviously our flip is the the old timer which we can't really flip, but we can, we can, uh, one hand it pretty easily, but I have an update for you guys on this, a little bit of clarity, if you will. This is 1095 high carbon. Now, some people were saying it doesn't look like 1095 high carbon. I don't, I don't know how you can look at a picture of a blade online and be like, that doesn't look like it has that composition. I don't, I don't know how that really works, but like it is because it took a patina. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it is 1095. I think it had a little bit of trouble catching it because number one, I was using fruit that was not acidic enough. And number two, this is a very high polish blade, but it has indeed picked up a patina, which I put a picture of earlier and a video and now it's covered in tape residue as well because i was using my shit but um it does have a, a patina now a pretty good one actually so it is 1095 which means that the box has a huge informational error what are we gonna do but at least we know that it will take a patina um oranges guys that's what i used oranges worked very well wow i need more beer So that's exciting. I'm stoked to continue building the patina on here. I I really like this knife so far, guys, and I'm glad that I figured out what what it was because I was really starting to think that it was stainless, which would have been a huge bummer because I love carbon steel. I made a mistake yesterday and I called it tool steel on accident. I realized that tool steel would be like Maximate. I understand that. I made a mistake. And I said tool steel, and one guy in the comments got very, very upset, even though I, I corrected myself. But this carbon steel, I'm excited to keep putting a patina on it. I really like this knife so far, guys. I, I just think this is a really cool configuration. So I'm going to keep using it, testing it. it. It actually got a lot of usage today. I uh, definitely cut through a good amount of stuff. As you can see, we've got some scratches, some tape residue, some patina. The teener, we got the patina. It's not patina unless you say it three times. So there's that. And then I also, my day has actually kind of been a fucking nightmare, but um, I recorded a 40 minute sharpening video of my case Sodbuster Jr. in chrome vanadium steel and then realized when I went back to watch it before I uploaded it, that I was blocking the lens almost the entire time with my arm and you couldn't really even see what I was doing. So now I have to redo it all over again. <laughs> it was literally a 40 minute video and it was a good one too, but I can't upload it because you can't really see anything. So I'm gonna redo it, but it was on this knife. I did sharpen this tonight for the first time and uh, uh, we need fuel, we need brain fuel. The sharpening went really well. I was surprised at how hard this CV steel felt because you always hear people saying, case knives suck, the CV sucks, the true sharp sucks. It's soft, it doesn't take an edge. I did just upload a video to Instagram or like a story of me like shaving hairs with this, it, so it's hair popping sharp. I can try to put that on YouTube. It's only like a minute long. Um, but this got a nice fresh edge tonight, 
We worked through that factory edge that was absolutely burnt to shit. And put a nice clean edge on there. So that's great. I definitely thickened the bevel a good amount because I didn't like that it was uneven and so tiny. <clears throat> Let's see this side. If it will focus. Oh, please focus, please. I'm begging you. Wow, it actually worked. Maybe I just have to beg. Um, that, sorry about my hands being dirty, that's from the stones. But, yeah, so we have a nice new edge on there. Very sharp, really bitey. I was excited to kind of even these bevels out because the... Up near the end, it was just a little... Ow, it just bit me. Don't do that! Stop. It, it was a little wonky so I did try to kind of make it nice and uniform I think I mentioned I did this freehand right I don't use a guided system so yeah I'm really bummed that I can't upload the video because it literally was so good uh, otherwise so that sucks but yeah there's that I used a 600 grit DMT then a 1000 grit Nanawa 6,000 grit nanowa, 8,000 grit nanowa finished on a strop that was 9 micron and 0.5. And that's it. Hui. So yeah, this is awesome. I am really excited about the edge that it took. The sharpening experience was awesome. It gave great feedback on all of the stones that I used. It felt pretty hard, surprisingly, so I'm figuring that the heat treat on this was decent. It's The edge is great um very 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 sharp very bitey still even at 8000 grit um i don't know if you can hear this i mean it is just so toothy but still has that still has that nice kind of polish on there so interesting um typically when i bring a knife to 8000 grit it loses some of that bite so I'm really surprised that this is as toothy as it is at 8,000 grit. Just goes to show that those carbon steels are, um, they're toothy, man. They are meant to work. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. Now we know that the old timer is indeed carbon steel and you just have to use really acidic stuff to make it start you know forming that patina i'm wondering if meat would work i would figure steaks and stuff like a hot steak just stick it in there leave it in there for a couple minutes it'll probably do something but i just don't think apples are cutting it and i and i noticed when i was doing my research because surprisingly sometimes i do use my brain i noticed on all the videos people were only using apples and go figure that's that is what i had gone for too was just apples because i eat like one or two a day and um so I was like, you know what, we probably should just try something else and go figure the, the oranges did the trick. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'm going to go drink beers and get drunk. So I will see you guys on the next video. I love you so much. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives and I will see you so soon. Take care.